Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend a moment in prayer with me. I thought I'd use verse 5 from Psalm 32 as our focus. That I acknowledged my sin to you and did not hide my iniquity. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you. So I invite you to close your eyes and to breathe in deeply and to release your breath. And I want this to be a time of silent reflection. I invite you to acknowledge your sin. Pour out your heart to God, telling all those ways that you have failed, the mistakes that you have made, the harm you have caused, the ways you've turned away from God. Acknowledge your sin. Holy One, it's hard to share the places where we have failed, where we failed you. There are times and places where the hurt we have caused, the pain that we have caused, makes us uncomfortable and we try to bury it, forget it, and ignore it. Would you invite us to bring that sin, that iniquity, out into the open? And so God, we raised up to you those, those ways that we need your forgiveness, those places and people that we have harmed. And now we wanna to turn to you and acknowledge the ways we as a people have harmed others. Holy One, we ask you to forgive us when we've let our group, our nationality, our community be seen as better, as more, as more important than others. We acknowledge the way we have forgotten to take care of the poor. To make sure that everyone has a house and food, has heat and water, has a place of shelter, a place to call home. We confess the ways in which we have harmed the earth. The ways that we have set up society so that we have created so much carbon in the atmosphere that we see the impacts, feel the impacts daily in the way our weather patterns have changed, in the way that trees are changing how they leaf out this year. The colors seem a little dim. The storms seem a little too strong. The temperatures are just not what they used to be. God, we acknowledge that we have harmed this beautiful creation you have given us. But God, 
God, you forgive us. You forgive the guilt of our sin. You forgive us. May we take that forgiveness, that grace, that mercy, and use it to transform those places of pain and hurt and sorrow. Amen.